Ubuntu, a very popular Linux operating system known for user-friendliness and its wide community. It uses a simple yet intuitive desktop interface. It's free and open source, meaning you can modify it and freely distribute it. Ubuntu comes in many flavors. Default Ubuntu, which is great for general use. Kubuntu, if you want to customize your UI. Way much more than you can do with Windows or Mac. Zubuntu for a lightweight operating system. Lubuntu to use on very old PCs. Ubuntu Mate for a more classic Ubuntu feel. Ubuntu Budgie for a more modern and sleek feel and Ubuntu Studios for creators. Ubuntu is great for beginners starting with Linux, server admins, and privacy conscious users because there's no tracking unlike Windows or Mac. Ubuntu is based on Debian, and speaking of Debian, one of the oldest and most stable Linux operating systems. It's known for its emphasis on open source. It can be used on desktops, servers, and embedded systems. Unlike Ubuntu, it's entirely community-driven and has no corporate backing. Debian comes in many desktop environments, such as GNOME, KDE Plasma, XFCE, or LXDE. Debian is the base for many other Linux distros, Kali Linux. Another Debian-based distro, more designed for cybersecurity and ethical hacking. It's the successor to Backtrack Linux. It comes with hundreds of security tools. It has tools for digital forensics, network analysis, and vulnerability scanning. It comes with Metasploit, Wireshark, Burp Suite, and Aircrack NG out of the box. Kali Linux can run on a Raspberry Pi, Android device, devices, and embedded system. It's mostly used for ethical hackers, IT security professionals, cybersecurity students, and forensic investigators. A drawback is that it's not as beginner-friendly as the other distros. It also has other versions like Kali Lite and Kali ARM. Arch Linux, a lightweight DIY rolling release Linux distro. It's known for minimalism and customization. Unlike Ubuntu, Arch doesn't come with pre-configured settings. You have to build the system from the ground up. You can pick your kernel, desktop environment, software stack. It's mostly for advanced Linux users who want full control. It's also good for Linux enthusiasts who want the full customization or people who want the latest software, as Arch has rolling release updates. But also like Kali Linux, it's not for beginners. Fedora, a Linux distro sponsored by Red Hat. It serves as a testing ground for the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It focuses on innovation and the latest software. It comes in many variants, such as KDE Plasma for a customizable desktop, XFCE for lightweight, LXQT for ultra lightweight, Server for server, and Core OS for a focus on cloud. It has strong security with SE Linux standing for Security Enhanced Linux, and there is also a short release cycle as there is a new version every six months. Fun fact, Linus Torvalds, the creator of Linux, uses Fedora. Tail a privacy-focused Linux distro for maximum anonymity. It routes all internet traffic through a browser called Tor and leaves no digital traces on the computer it runs on. You can run it from a DVD or USB drive and it wipes everything on shutdown. It comes pre-installed with privacy tools such as Enigmail for encrypted email, KeyPass for password management, OnionShare for secure file sharing. A limitation of Tails is that the internet tends to be slow due to to the routing, you also have to update it manually, and it's not for general use computing. Historically, it's been used by activists in oppressive regimes, privacy conscious users, and whistleblowers. Mint, a very user friendly Ubuntu based distro made for desktop users. It's good if you want something stable and easy to use, as it's known for its out of the box usability. It has a Windows like layout. It comes in many different editions, such as Cinnamon, which is its most popular. XFCE for old PCs, Mate for lightweight, Mint is great for beginners who dislike Ubuntu's snap push, or for people migrating from Windows. OpenSUSE, a versatile and community-driven Linux distro sponsored by SUSE. It comes in two editions, Leap, which is stable and best for servers and workstations, and Tumbleweed, which is a rolling release version. OpenSUSE is great for sysadmins and developers, or people who love the KDE desktop environment. In fact, 
its chameleon logo stands for how adaptable it is. Pop OS, an Ubuntu-based Linux distro developed by System76. It's designed for creators, developers, and gamers. It's optimized for performance due to its NVIDIA and AMD GPU support. It's very user-friendly and customizable due to the GNOME desktop environment. It's great for people in STEM as it comes pre-installed with tools such as TensorFlow, CUDA, BS Code, and Python. You can also use it for gaming as it has hybrid graphics support. Although it sounds pretty complicated, it's actually good for Linux beginners who want a polished, hassle-free experience. Red Hat The Red Hat Enterprise Linux is a commercial, enterprise-grade Linux distro. It's made by the company Red Hat. Although, unlike the other distros, it's not free and requires a paid license for updates and support. It comes with security-enhanced Linux by default and has a 10-year life cycle per major release. It's also optimized for enterprise-level data centers and cloud computing, and it's compatible with thousands of enterprise-level apps. Red Hat is used by corporations such as banks and Fortune 500 companies, government and military for security compliance, cloud providers such as AWS and Azure, and IT admin CentOS 3, a Linux distribution that serves as the upstream of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It essentially serves as a rolling preview of Red Hat and is a testing ground for future updates. Although, unlike Red Hat, it's free and community-driven. CentOS Stream is the only remaining CentOS project, as the traditional CentOS 8 was discontinued in 2021. CentOS is basically good if you want early access to Red Hat features. Raspberry Pi OS, the official Linux-based operating system for the Raspberry Pi. Designed by the Raspberry Pi Foundation, it's optimized for low-power ARM hardware. It comes with pre-installed tools for the camera and sensor control. It also comes with its own Python IDE, VLC, and the Chromium browser. There's a 32-bit version, a 64-bit version, and a OS Lite version that has no user interface. It's used by enthusiasts of robotics and home automation, educators and students for STEM projects, or beginners learning Python or Scratch. Parrot OS, a security-focused Linux distro designed for penetration testing. It comes with over 600 pre-installed tools. Parrot is like Kali Linux, but a bit more polished. It has a built-in VPN and Mac spoofing. It comes in multiple editions. Parrot Security for pen testing and hacking. Parrot Home for privacy-focused daily use. Parrot Arm for Raspberry Pi and mobile devices. And Parrot Cloud for server and cloud pen testing. Parrot OS is used by law enforcement and cybersecurity professionals worldwide. Puppy Linux, a portable Linux distro designed to run on very old or very low-spec hardware. And unlike other distros, Puppy loads in entirely into RAM, making it extremely fast, even on systems with as little as 256 megs of RAM. You don't even need to run it on a hard drive, you can boot it from a USB. It comes in many flavors or pups. Fossa Pup for general use, Bionic Pup for older hardware, Slacko Puppy for lightweight, and Tar Pup for really ancient PCs. In fact, the size of the entire Puppy OS is less than 300 megabytes. Rocky Linux, a Linux distro designed to be a one-to-one -one compatible replacement for the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. In fact, it was created in response to Red Hat's discontinuation of CentOS. But unlike Red Hat, it's free and community-owned. It's optimized for the cloud, data centers, and high-performance computing. So, if you want the Red Hat compatibility without the Red Hat cost, Rocky Linux is the way to go. Alpine Linux, an extremely lightweight, security-focused Linux distro mostly for edge computing and minimalism. It's a common favorite among users of Docker and Kubernetes. In fact, the base image size is only 5 megabytes. SteamOS, a Linux-based operating system developed by Valve. It's primarily used to power the Steam Deck. It's a specialized distro built on Arch Linux, specifically tailored for running Steam games. It has a console-like interface, it has rolling updates, and it has a desktop mode powered by KDE Plasma. Even though its Stream Deck optimization it can run on PCs. Anti-X, a lightweight Debian-based Linux distro designed for old PCs. Unlike Puppy Linux, which runs in RAM, Anti-X is a full-featured OS. It works on pretty old software, like early 2000s PCs. It's also good for privacy-focused users as it has no bloatware, although it's not good for gaming or modern apps or users wanting a more polished desktop experience. Gen 2, a highly customizable Linux distro 
distro for advanced users who want full control over their system. No, seriously, it takes customization to an extreme. Did you know that Google's Chrome OS was originally based on Gentoo? Slackware, one of the oldest surviving Linux distros. First released in 1993, it's known for its simplicity, stability, and Unix-like philosophy. It's often called the most Unix-like Linux distro. There is no graphical installer, so the setup is all text-based. It's pretty conservative with its updates as they are well tested before release. It's good for dedicated Linux users who want to learn Linux deeply. Nix OS, a unique and declarative Linux distro built around the Nix package manager. You can define your entire OS using a single configuration file. It's not for you if you want a traditional point-and-click Linux experience, but if you want a DevOps-friendly OS with atomic updates and rollbacks in case the system breaks, then Nix is a good choice. Nix is used by Bloomberg, Shopify, and AWS. Peppermint OS, a cloud-focused Linux distro based on Debian. It's lightweight and fast, and it's good for older hardware. It has a site-specific browser manager, which turns web apps like Gmail and Discord into desktop-like shortcuts. It has a clean, minimalist, Windows-like interface. Void Linux, an independent rolling release Linux distro known for its unique init system. It's not based on any other distro such as Debian, Arch, or Red Hat. It's built completely from scratch, with a focus on simplicity and avoiding System D. It's more of a distro for really advanced Linux users, as it has no graphical installer by default. It has rigorous package testing, so there are rolling releases without the instability. Alma Linux, a free and open source Linux distro that can also be a compatible replacement for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Like, it's actually bug for bug compatible. But just like Rocky, it has no licensing fees. And it's backed by the Alma Linux OS Foundation, which is a nonprofit. It's ideal for web servers and the cloud. It's optimized for servers like Apache and Nginx, databases like MySQL, and cloud deployments like Azure and AWS. Alma Linux is named after the Latin word for soul, Alma, reflecting its community spirit. It's used by Wikipedia, Docker, and Microsoft Azure. Manjaro, a user-friendly, Arch-based Linux distro. It's designed to deliver the power of Arch Linux with a simpler installation process and out-of-the-box usability. It's also known for its access to the Arch user repository. It comes in multiple desktop flavors such as Manjaro KDE, Manjaro GNOME, Manjaro XFCE, and Manjaro Sway. It's also a gaming-ready distro as it auto-detects drivers for NVIDIA and AMD. MX Linux, a mid-weight Debian-based Linux distro. It tries to strike a balance between performance and user-friendliness. It comes with some unique tools such as MX Installer, MX Snapshot, and MX Package Installer. Endeavor OS, a user-friendly, terminal-centric Linux distro based on Arch Linux. It fills the gap between Vanilla Arch, which is fully manual, and Manjaro, which is pre-configured, as it's designed to provide a smoother Arch experience without sacrificing the DIY philosophy. It encourages learning Arch commands like Pac-Man and Yay. You also get full access to the Arch user repository, and it has great gaming and hardware support, as it comes with Steam, Wine, and Proton. It's basically the Arch Linux distro with training wheels. Be sure to share this video, and thanks for watching.